thank you very much. I appreciate y'all letting me be here. When Ken uh, contacted me this weekend, asked me to be a part of your luncheon, I thought about it. I said, well, I said, we got three positives. We got Tulane, who's bowl eligible, eligible. That's a great thing. We got the Saints, who are playing probably the best I've ever seen the Saints play in my life. That's another great thing. And I was just about to watch the LSU game, thinking, boy, LSU's going to take care of A&M. So I started watching the game and kept watching it and watching it and kept watching it and we kept watching it. Well, needless to say, at the end of that, all of that time, I think it was a five-hour experience. I think it approached five hours. Uh, it didn't turn out quite the way I expected it to. Um, it was tough. I, I can honestly say I've never been, as a player, in a situation like those guys went through Saturday. Never played in a game like that. Uh, so I can imagine how, how just frustration set in and how fatigued they were. and how I was tired just watching. You know, I was sitting on my couch with a beer and I was tired after the game. So, uh, you know, so we go from a, a situation where, hey, we, we, we think we're going to play in a, in a New Year's Day Bowl. Now I'm hearing maybe, maybe the Peach Bowl or something like that. That's what I'm reading somewhere, maybe against Washington State. But I got to give those guys so much credit because, like I said, I've never experienced that as a player. But watching those guys fight like they did was unbelievable. It was, uh, you know, something that's tough. I'm not going to tell you. I, I'll let you. I, I, I might answer your questions when you ask me something out directly. I'll tell you what I think about it. But uh, it was just, it was just rough to watch. But uh, some positives we got coming out of there, though, just watching them play from a distance. Uh, I, I think we've grown so much under Coach O. You know, Coach O and his staff have, uh, to me, have done a tremendous job this year. You know, we've, uh, I think we entered the season thinking or being projected to win six or seven games. We nine now. You know, we're sitting on nine. And I think what makes a great season, and it's the way we used to look at it as well as players, if you walk into a season, if you go into a season and, and win the ones that you're expected to win, win the ones that you're supposed to, then the two or three that you're not expected to win, you pull one or two out of there, then you wind up with a great season. You know, I think Coach O did that. Uh, granted, we should have beat A&M. We should have beat Florida, maybe. Uh, but overall, I think he had a great year. So, uh, but I think as, as, as looking out from there, I think our quarterback has grown. Uh, I think it's an exciting time to look to see toward the end of the year, what he was able to do. I think he proved to the coaching staff that the more they asked him to do, the more he proved what he could do. And uh, I think that's exciting for next year. I'm kind of hoping that on the defensive side, uh, the two, you know, Greedy Williams and Devin White, I'm kind of hoping that the NFL lure isn't excited enough to make them go, but we'll see how that works out. Uh, but if, if I can improve or look from an outsider's point and, and see what maybe we could improve for next year, I think we have to get strong on the offensive line. Uh, I think the offensive line play could have been a difference in a couple of the losses we had. Uh, but that's coming along as well. So uh, overall, it was tough to watch Saturday. Uh, but I think those guys, I give all my, I'm proud of those guys and I give all the credit in the world to how they fought. So, uh, so if you all have any questions. Yes, sir. Does anyone know the NCAA rule of spiking the ball at the three-second mark? I saw something online, and I pulled it up on a Google search, and it said that it was not allowed, but it was allowed that night. Is it or is it not allowed? You mean after, after a score? Uh, is that what you're talking about? Spiking the ball at three seconds. The referee. Oh. <laughs> well. Bobby can answer it. Go ahead. I don't, I don't really know that rule. but. rule is if you have two seconds or less, you only have time for one play. So therefore, if you have three seconds or more, you do have time to spike the ball. The referees actually went to replay and looked at it and saw that the ball was on the ground with one second, but technically they didn't even have to go to replay for that mm -hmm. because they had three seconds. So are you agreeing with the one second being put back or not? Absolutely. We it's, didn't a, it's a rule. Okay. 
Yeah, I, 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 don't, I don't know if I agree with it, but that's good. <laughs> hey, I'm a little biased, though. It's, uh, I, I, I think, yeah, I, I don't know. I think the game was over, but if that was, you know, it, like I said, we can't, they, they, those guys fought, you know, and who knows where it, it would have went to once they had that last play. You know, who knows, seven, seven overtimes later, here we are, you know, so. Any more questions? Anybody else? I got, I got, I got one. <laughs> Rowan, would you? I, I know a lot of people are disappointed about what happened, but would you talk about where you see the future of the program and where it is a year from now? And do you think that um, like big progress is made, little steps? Just kind of a big picture overview as a former player and what you see. Well, I personally love the job that Coach O and his staff did. Uh, I think that, that I, th I think they took major steps this year. Uh, if you recall, I think we were projected six or seven wins in the beginning of the season. Uh, you know, we had big, uh, big game, in, you know, first game of the year, big win. Uh, now, now it's hard to tell because we don't. Nobody knew where Miami was coming from. You know, they were ranked high, but we don't know what. You know, when that first game of the season, we don't know where they stood. Uh, but that was a big win for us. Then you go to Auburn, you beat Auburn. A uh, couple games we lost, you know, we should have lost. Maybe Florida, we shouldn't have lost that last one in my opinion. But uh, I, look, I look forward to it. I think we got a lot of, enough guys coming back. Uh, we got, you know, we got a quarterback that's, to me, it's exciting. Uh, he, 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 tail end of the season, he, he really showed me that he was a lot better than that in the end of the year than he was at the beginning of the year. Uh, and that's exciting. Uh, I think Coach O has coaches in place that I support, that I that I think are good for the program, uh, defensively and offensively. So to, to me, I, and I, from what I understand, recruiting is going well. So uh, I, I think it's going to be exciting next year. You know, I like the fact that we got a lot of guys coming back. You know, we might lose two big ones in, in Greedy Williams and Devin White. Hopefully not, but uh, you know, we'll see how that goes. But uh, I'm excited about it. I think it's I think it looks promising.